Hi, uh, what are the key takeaways from LRDA section in 2021? What did, what did we learn from LRDA 2021? Apart from the fact that it was horrendously difficult and unnerving. Right? So that we know. Right? I've broken it into two parts. Some things were, uh, they stayed the same. And some a couple of ideas were new. But most of the things were similar to the years that have gone just before that. I want to talk about what was reinforced. It's not easily categorizable. And you could not look at this and say, hey, these questions are from sequences. These are from series. This is from arrangement. This is from circular layout. This is from Venn diagram and set theory. None of that. There's no classic DI question with just charts and graphs. So very little was categorizable, which has been what we have seen in the last few years. Difficulty is still sky high. It was unnervingly difficult. And uh, you had to really hang in there for a while to even figure out whether the set was solvable. To, to take the decision, it took time. So you had to have the confidence to say, okay, I'm going to spend five, six minutes. I might still dump this, but I'll hang in there. I, I don't know why they are testing it or whether they're even recognizing that they are testing this. The, the, te the temperamental strength to hang in there and then dump a little later on, but that is very much there. Each puzzle, each set is difficult. There's no freebies at all. Therefore, set selection is ever more crucial. Which one to do? Which one to dump? Which particular four set, four question puzzle or six question puzzle to kind of double down on and say, hey, I'm going to get this right and that should take me home. Uh, that is super crucial. So we need to have a clear understanding of our, uh, our strengths. That is important. Also know that sometimes you might spend four or five minutes and then say, hey, this doesn't seem to be working and, and have to leave a, a set aside. Should have the ability to leave a set after five, six minutes and hang in there. So, so selecting the right set is super crucial. One of the new things, the 2R format is horrendous. So we had a feeling that it was horrendous last year, on 2020. 2021 is, was, was even tougher uh, as far as the decision making was concerned. So I'm hoping like mad that it reverts to a 3R format. But if it's a 2R format, we need to be super clear that uh, the, 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 the benchmarks are very different. Very different. So it's, if to go in with the 2R format and 40 minutes to the section, you've got to say, hey, one set right and I'm crossing 90th percentile. So I have to orient our entire strategy towards saying find the easy one, get that right, cross 90th percentile, then play to see whether we can go to 98, 99 or, or whatever our, our bigger ambitions are. But, but look to get that first hurdle clearly done as early as possible. One set might be enough. If it's a two hour paper and a 40 minutes to the section, the entire strategy for LRD has got to be around one set right and then I'm on ice. Let me see how we can go beyond after this. Nothing dramatically new. Uh, the, the, it is, it is, the 2R format is per se tougher than the 3R format because the decision making is tougher and the, the question marks come in bunches. So hang in there if you're preparing for this section. Uh, do a bunch of puzzles with great variety. Best wishes.